Today we are talking about the Avata and specifically its battery. Now there is quite a lot of confusion online about what the battery actually is in the sense of is it lipo or lithium ion. There is also some things I want to talk to you about with regards to charging this battery because there are some new things that DJI have done on the Avata that we haven't seen before. Just before we get into it I just want to say if you do find this video interesting please do make sure you are a subscriber and please do consider giving it a like as well. Anyway let's hop over to the overhead and let's explain what is actually going on here with this pack. So the first thing to discuss is the chemical makeup or the type of battery that the Avata uses. The DJI website for this battery lists it as lithium ion. Now whilst that is technically correct it isn't the whole story but that is what most people think this battery is. If you actually though take a closer look at the label on the battery itself and if I go over to the scope you can see I've got one under there now the battery is actually labeled lithium ion polymer i.e it is a traditional lipo battery. There has been some investigations done on this as well and one of the users on the fpv.wtf discord FiCheck, has actually torn a battery down because he had one that crashed and he's kindly shared with us the images on the website. You can see here we've got the battery with the lid off. If I scroll through you can see we've got images of the internal PCBs with the FETs and the control circuit and he then very kindly provided us an image of the actual cells in the battery. Now we haven't been able to fully understand what this battery is but what it does appear to be is a normal traditional LiPo like DJI use in all of their other drones and there's no reason to believe that this is just a normal typical lithium ion battery as the DJI website suggests. Now this obviously raises the question why DJI's website has it only listed as lithium ion and the chances are it's just a typo or a copy and paste from another drone spec. What I will say is they are not going to get the label on the actual battery wrong that would have huge implications and the website itself probably just has a typo error. Next I want to talk about charging this battery because there is something rather unusual and that is that you can't charge this battery with third-party chargers. In the past whilst you've always been able to obviously use the DJI supplied adapter such as the one this one comes with you've also been able to use third-party adapters from the likes of XY and others. In fact I have built chargers myself for DJI batteries or you can even use ones such as this Toolkit RC one which have a dedicated DJI charging mode. However, none of them are going to work with the battery on the Avata because unlike the batteries in the past, this one requires constant communication from the charger. This battery actually uses an XT30 connection for its main outputs, so you can connect it to an XT30 adapter or directly to your charger, but it will start to charge and then stop after a few seconds. And the reason for that is DJI require communication from the charger at all times. Now, just to demonstrate this, we have the Toolkit RC charger set to power supply mode. I'm going to set it to 16.8 volt, one amp, and then I'm going to tell it to start charging. If I tip the battery up on the side, hit start, you'll see that the lights will actually start to charge as you would expect. But after about two, three seconds, it flashes off and gives an error. This is something new and whilst DJI batteries in the past have been temperamental with the voltages they're receiving, you could always charge them with a third party charger. However, now you're going to need to use the official charger because there's no communication available from this unit. Now to try and get around this, another fantastic user from the FPV.WTF group called Bruno AD is working on reverse engineering the communication that DJI is using between the charger and the battery. He's been hooking it up to a logic analyzer, a USB UART connection, and he's worked out what the connection is. It's a one wire connection. He's been logging that and he's actually working on providing a way of being able to use a third party charger or build a charger allowing us to be able to communicate with the battery and charge it by ourselves in the future. 
Now, what's really interesting in all of this is the fact that this is the first time that we've seen DJI encrypt charging of the battery with the charger. There is obviously communication between the battery and the drone, and we've known about that for years. However, it's the first time that we've seen a special requirement being in place to prevent third-party chargers, and it sort of hints that DJI has been looking to prevent those third parties making chargers for their batteries. Whilst some of those chargers haven't always been the best quality, they really didn't offer any problems from a safety point of view, and more than anything, this is DJI preventing other people being able to sell you accessories, and we probably will see more accessories for charging these batteries from DJI in the future. So that's pretty much the situation on the batteries today. We can't charge them with third-party chargers, but someone is working on reverse engineering that, and I'll talk about that more hopefully as that project develops. With regards to the type of battery it is, as I've said, it's a LiPo. The battery label says it's a LiPo. The cells look like a LiPo. There's no reason to believe anything else, and it's most likely just a typo on DJI's site. Now, as always with DJI batteries, they are expensive and they're not the most highest rated C rating batteries that we'll see on the market. Often you can find that they are quite low in their capabilities of providing current and you can feel that on the Avata as well. And hopefully if this communication gets reversed, we may see the ability to have third party batteries on this drone as well, because not only will reversing that communication allow us to see what the charging is, hopefully people can then see what other capabilities they can bring in the future and maybe even then bring third-party batteries. That's it from me on this video. If you have found it interesting, please do let me know what you think in the comment section. If you'd like to support the channel, please do check out the links in the description. I'd like to thank all of my Patreons. I would not be able to keep making content on this channel without the support of the Patreons. And if you feel we've earned it, please do check it out. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. I'll speak to you soon.